Hello friends, I am Leaf and I am going to explain you my internal mechanism of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the only process in earth where the food is prepared by its own by the plants. I can also say it is a natural food factory on earth. So, I can define respiration via electron transport chain in plants giving rise to oxygen and taking carbon dioxide and it can also be defined as the utilization of solar light energy by plants for biosynthesis of cell components and food materials. So the phases involved in this photosynthesis are the light reactions called the light phase and the dark reactions called the dark phase. Light phase absorbs light and produces ATP in the energy and dark phase use ATP to reduce carbon dioxide and give glucose. Here is the typical chloroplast cell and I can also define it as the dynamo of the leaf where it is the all the electron transport chain and major reactions take place here and these are thylakoids, outer membrane, inner membrane, stroma and grana. Photosystems consists of chlorophyll molecules, primary as a primary pigments, and accessory pigments are chlorophyll B and carotenoids. And the proteins associated are electron acceptors, that is PS1. Photosystem 1 absorbs light of wavelength 700 nanometers, and photosystem 2 that absorbs light of 680 nanometers. Chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B absorb blue light. Carotenoids absorb only blue light. Lingam conducted a series of experiments using filamentous algae and also motile pseudomonas bacteria and chloroplasts were illuminated with different wavelengths of light and movement of the bacteria was observed and bacteria were found to group around the region of the chloroplasts illuminated by the red and blue light. So he concluded that from the above experiments Photosynthesis can occur only when the chloroplasts are illuminated by red and blue light. Here is the photo antenna complex of photosynthesis and it is the magnesium porphyrin in chloroplast. Remember this character electron plays a major role in our entire video and water in plants in presence of the sunlight Here is a typical leaf where water breaks and the oxygen slowly releases out into the atmosphere and when the water cleaves the oxygen is released along with an electron. Here is the angry electron and this angry electron enters into the PS2 that is photosystem 2 and this photosystem 2 when illuminated by the sunlight it will travel to C550, B559, PQ, F and PC a series of electron transporters and this electron when enters into the PQ ATP is generated and now from PC this electron enters into the PS1 and when PS1 illuminated by the sunlight it will enter into the P430, FRS, FD, FP and NAD plus that is these are a chain of electron acceptors and finally the electron reaches NAD plus this NAD plus is reduced to NADH and from this PS2 I, I am giving this overall chain reaction mechanism of photophosphorylation and now coming to the cyclic process it is a rather simple process where when the sunlight illuminates PS1 it enters into the P430 and with cytochrome B6 it captures electron and takes it to PS2 directly and from PS2 B559, PQ, F and it goes to PC and again goes to PS1 in a cyclic process and same like before it enters into the PQ and ATP is generated here and thus in cyclic and non-cyclic process a plant grows in a photosynthesis 
and finally subscribe our channel ISRSI into the science for more information and comment your suggestions below.